Hey guys, it's the Tierra Makia here, and I want to share this awesome hack with you guys. It's an alternative to acrylic nails, and it provides a nice polished look without having to pay the money. I know, honestly, right now, going to the nail salon every two weeks and paying $20 or however much for a manicure is not really realistic in my budget. So, this provides an alternative that usually lasts me about two weeks and it's much more affordable on the pockets and it's something you can do at home for about eight dollars i just want to thank you guys for sticking with me on this youtube journey thank you for subscribing liking sharing and please continue to comment and let me know what you guys think and what you guys want to see um this has been a exciting journey so far and i can't wait to see what the future holds for me and you guys so if you want to see how I achieved this look for about $8, stay tuned. An emery board, medium to coarse grit, a nail clipper, some nails, and I try to include a picture of the actual package so you guys can see which ones to get. This isn't the exact package, but this is very similar to the ones I got. This kit also came with nail glue, which you will need. A nail polish color of your choice, a base coat, and a top coat. So we're going to start off with clean nails. Wipe them with alcohol and a cotton pad if you need to get rid of any oil or dirt. So first we're going to start by filing our nails. This just creates... Um, a gritty, you know, a little bit texture so the nail glue and the nails can adhere better to your nail bed. So that's one hand done and then you just want to repeat the same process to your other hand. And this is how both hands look filed. Now we're going to select the nails for our fingernails. I actually should have did this before I filed but we'll just go with the flow. But you want to select the nails that best fit your nail bed and you don't want to have to press it down to make it fit. So if it's too, um, too small and you have to press it down to make it fit, then you need to go up a size. If that's too big, then you just need to foul the size a little bit. And here I'm fouling it. After you've selected all the sizes, you just want to line them up in order and keep them to the side so you can have easy access. Now you want to apply just a drop of nail glue on your nail bed. Then I like to take the nail and kind of spread that glue around with the base of the nail. And then I just kind of lay it down from the back to the tip of the nail and I hold it for about 60 seconds. Pressing the nail down and holding it for 60 seconds just ensures that the nail glue dries and is spread evenly across your nail, nail bed and that the nails last as long as possible. This is what the nails look like after they're all applied. Now we're going to file them if needed. I'm just going to do a kind of square, almost kind of coffinish shape, but not completely. I'm not very good at filing, but I'm still learning. Here's
here's what my nails look like after they've been fouled. As you can see, I still need to work on my fouling, but it'll do for me doing it myself. Here I'm just taking some rubbing alcohol and a cotton pad and I'm wiping all the little dust and fouling's from filing my nails and cleaning that off. Now I'm taking my base coat. This is just one I got from Dollar General. And I'm going to coat all of my nails with that so my polish adheres longer. Now I'm taking the white nail polish that I'll be using for this look and this is just polish I got from Dollar General. It's only a dollar. This polish is very inexpensive but it's very good for the price and it applies very well. After that first coat dries, I'm applying a second coat. Here are my nails after two coats of polish. They are really shiny, but I'm still going to go in with a top coat to seal in the shine and add a little bit more. It's Nail Medic Rise and Shine High Gloss Plumping Top Coat that I got from Walmart. And I love this, um, this top coat. And voila, my nails are done. They look pretty good for doing them at home. I did clean up the little bit of polish that got on my skin, but this is an awesome hack for having nice manicured looking nails without going to the salon. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. Please continue to like and subscribe and tell me what you want to see.